Hi, I'm Maria from Crochet A to Z and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. And if you have, thank you for being here. Thank you for all of you for being here. Also, if you would, please push that like button. It helps the algorithms and it helps this video get out there to everyone. So that would be great and I appreciate it. Uh, today I want to show you, I actually have two tutorials coming up and they're fun tutorials on a couple of things we're going to be making together. But I wanted to show you this stitch because it reminded me that I had made this for a friend. I had actually used this for a few Afghans and I also made it for a shawl or um, a cover. So a shawl really. And uh, for somebody that's cold all the time and is at work and I use this stitch and it's called the thicket stitch, the thicket stitch. And it's really easy. It's great for beginners. And it's great for um, anyone that um, is also an advanced crocheter. I used a Lion Brand yarn. And for this yarn, I used an H hook because that's what it requires. And this is their anti-pilling um, Lion Brand yarn. And I don't quite remember the name of it. I think it's a salmon color. Uh, but I don't remember the name of it because unfortunately I have it inside this so uh, when I do get the name I will uh, add it to the tutorial uh, but I get all my yarns either at Joann's or on Lion Brand itself just to let you know uh, so we're going to get started and uh, what I wanted to mention also is I'm using for this tutorial I am using another Lion Brand and it's called Heartland. I, Heartland. I really love this yarn. It's just beautiful. But then I'm in love with most of their yarn. It's a four yarn, weight yarn, and it tells you everything there is to tell you. It's 100% acrylic and it tells you just how much, 251 yards. And they're asking you to use a J hook with this, but I'm actually going to use an I. And the name of this yarn, color name is New River, River Gorge. I'm sorry, I can't speak today for some reason. I think I'm just tired. Uh, we changed our clocks and uh, we actually fell back and I'm still tired. So I just don't even get that, but that's the way it is. So what we're going to do with this is we have to chain a multiple of even so not multiples, but even number stitches. So um, as long as you chain even numbers, you're okay. So just remember that for the thicket stitch, you chain an even number of chains. Now, I also want to mention for those of you that are new to crochet, this is your working chain and not considered a chain. These V's are considered your chains. And at the very end or the beginning, depending on how you look at it, because you make it at the beginning, this is your slip knot. So what's going to happen when you do this is um, you're going to chain again an even number of chains. And then what you're going to do is in the second chain from the hook, one, two, in that second chain, you're going to put a single crochet. Now, I want to mention, as I usually try to do and remember to do, is that I go slow. I am visual. I take it for granted and figure that everyone else is as well. Plus, I want you to walk away and say, I got it. I got it, Maria. And sometimes um, I'll get uh, comments that say, I got it, Maria. And I love when people tell me that. It's like, Great, because that means I'm doing what I want to do to make it easy for you to follow. So we're going to do a single crochet right across. So in the next stitch, we're going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to just do a single crochet right across. And like I said, for those of you that have never crocheted before, or want to follow or I cro do crochet and you want to get some yarn and you want to get a crochet hook, please do. So in the next, I'm going to um, keep doing the single crochets. This yarn is so soft 
and so pretty. When I went to Joanne's last week, I found it. I read about it and I said, I'm going to take it home with me. I want to buy one and I want to see what I think if I like it. Well, I love it. It's soft. It's easy to work with. The colors are vibrant. So I just want to mention that. And again, I did get it at um, Joanne and it's called Heartland. It's also um, on Lion Brand, their um, website. I always try to mention uh, where I get my yarn or, or at least what the yarn is. I try. Sometimes I use the yarn and I lose the paperwork on it. But um, if you're interested in finding something out, just send me, shoot me a comment and say, by the way, what was that yarn? And I'll be happy that you used. I'll be happy to, to find out because it's easy enough for me to find out what the color is, what the type of yarn it is. Um, it's easy enough for me to do it. And I would rather do that if you have any questions. So these are your single crochets right across. So one, now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one. And that chain one, I want to mention right off, it counts as nothing. And you're going to turn your work. Now, the beauty of this um, particular pattern, the thicket stitch, is it's a one row repeat. It's a beauty. It's easy. It works up fast. You don't have to think about it. So you chained one, doesn't count. In this very first stitch, you're going to go in and you're going to do a single crochet. Then in the same spot, you're going to do a double crochet right in that same spot. It's a beautiful thing. I love this stitch. It works up so fast. It's so pretty. Like I said, I made my friend, if you want to call it a shawl or a wrap, uh, for the office. Uh, she loved it, and um, it's warm. It's not, it's, uh, if this makes any sense, it's warmth without weight. So it's warm, but it's not heavy. So that's what's nice about it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to skip this next stitch right here. We're going to skip it. And in the next stitch, you're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch you're going to do a double crochet you're going to skip a stitch and in this next stitch you're going to do a single crochet then you're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch you skip in the next, you're going to do a single, and then you're going to do a double. In the next stitch, you're going to skip. In the next stitch, you're going to do a single, and you're going to do a double. You can do this while you're watching TV, if you're waiting for your kids to come out of school, whatever you want, wherever you want, you can do the stitch. It's that easy. You can make scarves with this, afghans with it, shawls with it, sweaters with it. You can make hats with it. The list goes on and on. Skip, next stitch. And like I said, I go slow. I want you to walk away and say, okay, I can do that. I've got it. And I thought about this today and I'm like, okay, I want to do that project stitch, you know, project uh, tutorial, but I really want to do this stitch. So I said, I'm going to go and I'm going to do, we're going to do it. And then we'll do our tutorials for the projects. Skip one. Next. Because I want to put these stitches out here so that in case there's something you want to make for the holidays and you see these stitches and you say, oh, okay. I really like that stitch. I'm going to make so-and-so this, this with it. And uh, it's really easy. And again, a double crochet. Skip. Next one. 
and you're gonna do this right along and this is your one row repeat and again skip next single crochet double crochet isn't this great now you're going to skip that stitch when you get to the end almost the end and you have your last two stitches one two you're going to skip that one stitch and in this very last stitch you're going to put a single crochet and here it is and it's so so pretty i'm going to show it to you with the yellow one how pretty is it? I always like to show a couple of colors so you can see it. This would actually also be nice in a multicolor yarn as well. It's just so pretty. So now we chain one. We turn our work right in this first stitch where you chained one. Chain one counts as nothing. You're going to make a single crochet. Now, right in that same stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. So now we're going to go, now you're, you're going to start making, that was in that stitch, now you're going to start again. You're going to skip, and you're going to see where you, you made the single crochet, that's where you're going to make your single crochet and your double crochet crochet and we're going to go right along and we're going to make in that where that single crochet is right there we're going to make a single crochet and we're going to make a double crochet and you don't have to worry because it it really does pop out at you so you can see where it is you can see where there's, there's your double crochet right here and your single crochet, because don't forget, you've turned your work around, so everything is facing in the other direction. Now, I also want to mention that this pattern is the same on both sides. So on both sides, it's exactly the same. So see how you can see it? It's almost popping out at you. That There it is right there. There it is right there. You're going to make your single crochet and your double crochet. And you're going to chain even numbers when you make this. So as long as wide as you want to make it, you make your chains as long as they're in the even numbers. So once you do that, you stop. And you keep doing this pattern or this stitch until you finish your project right in here single crochet and double crochet i've also made um i also made some really nice uh blankets and uh, baby blankets in this and um cro um christening blankets in this and what they wanted was a white so i just want to mention that as well so this is a really really nice scarves cowls single crochet double crochet and like i said i we have tutorials coming up for some projects but i wanted to slip this in between i i just wanted to slip this stitch in here because i wanted you to have it in your um you know with your stuff because i said you know if you want to make something this is so quick and easy and at the very end you're going to make in that last in that single crochet you're going to make a right in here i want to pull it so you can see it okay you're going to make a single crochet so see i just want to make sure you can see it and this is why I go slow, because I want you to be able to see and walk away comfortable. So now, again, I'm going to chain one. Counts as nothing. You turn your work right in this first, and you can see it. 
right in here you make your single crochet and you make your double crochet right there your single crochet and your double crochet and you're going to just do this right along and you can see it see what i'm saying you don't even have to look for it, it kind of pops right out there's your single crochet there it is there it is so um you'll know exactly where you've got to go because it'll it'll it's almost like it's calling you and saying, there it is. So again, single crochet and double crochet. And this is, again, a one row repeat until you finish up with whatever it is you're making. I was like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to show. I really do love this stitch. It's so pretty. I um I have to tell you I love this yarn. Um, and again, thank you all for being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button and please push the like so the algorithms will get this video out there as well. And I do have um here we go. That's how pretty it is. See how pretty it is? Look at um I do have a giveaway coming for subscribers only um and i do have a lot more tutorials coming on projects and stitches and um i want to thank you all um for reaching out i love hearing from every one of you it's so great when you shoot me a comment and um so please feel free and if you make something with the stitches please let me know let us all know what you're making. We're a community. We're here for each other. Um, it's a nice getaway from for all of us um, in times like this. Uh, it's been crazy. And when you work all day and whatever it is that you're doing or taking care of children or loved ones, it's always nice to retreat and have time to yourself and do something that you like. And there's nothing that makes you feel better than making something, giving it to someone, selling it or um you know sharing um your craft with other people because there's nothing it's just very fulfilling um at the end of the day when you've done everything you need to do and you just want some time to yourself so at the end like i said and i want to show you right at the end here where that single crochet is you're going to make another single crochet chain one counts as nothing And we're going to turn our work and right in here we're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet this is great then we're going to just keep going we can see where we have to make our single crochet and we make a double crochet single crochet double crochet and it see how quickly it works it did work up it just works up really really fast this is a great stitch um i've made uh scarves I, in fact i did make my one of one of uh i think it was my, the mailman i made him a scarf with this pattern as well uh, cuz i make the mailman um and the guy that the gentleman that delivers my milk i try to make them something and this was one of the patterns i used for one of the scarves that i made i try to give them something especially something that's going to be warm for them for the winter months so i try to give them something that i've made and I give it to them so and double crochet so you can see it it's right here single crochet and like I said I go slow I want you to be able to follow me if you want to follow along 
I want you to be able to learn it. And I also, if you want to write notes down, I want, I want to be able to make it easy for you to write notes down. At the very end, you make a single crochet, you chain one and you turn your work. And there it is. It worked up really fast. I want to show you the two. See how quickly it worked up? Now I'm going to show you in the lighter color. So here we go. At the very end, chain one and turn your work. So in this very first, we're going to do a single crochet and then a double crochet. And I like to do that so that you can see. So now we're going to go in here and you can see where the single crochet is and we're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. You can see it right there. It's calling my name. Single crochet and a double crochet. It's saying, Maria, this is it. This is where you go. Like I said, you can watch TV It's it's and do this. It's not like once you know what you're doing, you can move right along. And this is such, you can make a few scarves and um, cowls with this, like I said, and see how you, it's just great. Um, and um, I don't usually put my yarn like that. I usually roll it up, but. For some reason, I did that, and I just want to mention single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Go right along, and you can see where your single crochet is, and your double crochet. You know I'll be rolling this yarn up tonight and um, actually undoing this so that um, <laughs> I'm not using it like this. And double crochet. There it is right there. Single crochet. Because it's looking at you, um, I just want to mention, it's looking at you in the opposite direction because when you had it this way and then when you go this way it's the opposite the row below you is in the opposite direction instead of the single crochet being you know it it's right here so right here single crochet and double crochet because the one below your your double crochet single crochet is here and your double crochet is here so then we go to the very end and we do a single crochet. And then again, you chain one and you turn your work and you start over again. And see how nice that looks. It looks really, really pretty. It's a rich looking stitch. It really is. It's a real pretty, rich stitch. So whatever you make in this stitch, it will just have a really rich look to it. And it honestly, it looks like it was, it looks like, oh my gosh, that's a hot stitch to do. Um, you know, but it really isn't. And that's why I wanted to show you this stitch, especially for beginners or somebody that's been crocheting a while and you want to do something different. This is the thicket stitch. So this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you like this quick tutorial that I decided to do the last minute before the next two projects are coming along. Um, one is going to be um, a real, both of them are really cool projects that they're, they're easy to make. And I wanted to show you just how easy they, these things are to make. So again, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. If you haven't subscribed, push that subscribe button if you have. Thank you. I want to welcome you all here. Uh, we have a really great crochet community. Uh, we have some wonderful um, 
ideas that we pass along to each other. There's always nice to, uh, if you have something that you want to share with something or you made something and you want to tell someone how you made it or you what you did that you changed it, share those uh, things with us because we're all here to learn and we learn from each other. Although I've been crocheting for a long time, I still learn things and I learn from you as well as you learn from me. So we share that. So thank you for all for being here and have a great day. This is Maria from Crochet A to Z. Push that subscribe button and stay safe, stay warm, and stay healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye.